look at my stuff everybody how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great today we are going to be talking about how to get your life back on track we all fall off it's okay because we all fall off we have our track you have those moments that doesn't mean that you're not good enough not capable that doesn't mean that it's not meant for you it's just you fell off track it's just a reminder of you was doing good and then you kind of fell out but then when you was doing good it was a reminder that you had the ability of doing good so let's get back on track of that again number one clean that room don't ask me why I'm holding this chopstick like this because I ain't got my pencil. So we just gonna act like this is a pencil. But clean that room, okay? Clean that room. Now, why is it important to clean your room? Because it takes away the toxicness, the negativity. It declutters your room, okay? All that clutter you got there in that corner, in that closet chair you know that chair where you just put your you just put your clothes on top of the chair you know because you already wore it so you don't want to put it you know throw that in the dang gone bin throw that in your basket throw that anywhere and clean that junk clean that pile of clothes that you have for months clean it up put it in a washer put it in the dryer yes fold it just because you clean you wash and everything doesn't mean don't fold it Fold it and put it up in your closet neatly. Get some new sheets. Get some new bed sheets. I had black sheets and I replaced it with pink, like a satin sheets because I peeped my black sheets. They covered the light from coming in through my sheets to wake me up. I would sleep in and I wouldn't like to add color. So I added pink, my favorite color. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's bright, it's nice, and it's my favorite color. I like it. So get a color that you like. Colorful, not black. Something that is bright that makes you feel like there's life in your room. Give life in your room. By doing that, you increase the more positive feelings you encounter when you walk into your home. Decluttering and taking out the negativity that's been marinating with you while you sleep, while you wake up, while you sit in your room, whatever you're doing. It's just marinating, just sitting with you and just piling up as time goes by. Number two. Journal your present feelings out and journal how you're going to feel good in the future. For me, I manifest and I'm doing shadow work right now. You're reflecting on what you've been feeling in the present tense, right? And then you're manifesting what you are being for the future as for right now in the present tense of how you're going to feel in the future. You get me? You get me. So you're writing out how you're going to be feeling good in the future so you can have that mindset and actually feel and see what it looks like if you asked, if you was actively doing it today. So saying it all in present tense. So manifesting. I'm trying to get a car. Okay. I am so thankful that I have my Toyota Camry um, 2022 all black car. Like ever since I got this car, I've been so happy. I have no complaints. It makes me just feel just butterflies. Like it was a great milestone for me. When I got my car, experiencing my car and being grateful for my car has just been a great experience and just a great add on to my life. Say it like that. Like say it like as if you already had it. And then for the shadow work part, you are breaking down aspect, topic to topic, layer to layer, what your traumas are, what your triggers are how you think, how you need to think now, what you need to work on, what type of process do you go through when certain triggers start to trigger you and start to happen. You are reflecting and you're looking at your your present situation and you're saying, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, so I'm going to change it by bringing into life with words into the universe that you have received it that you are a being that has her stuff together and has everything that they desire it's already received once you put it in the universe once you give it to god it's already in a receiving status god in the universe comes together to figure out a way to give it to you you announce your desires you announce that you want to receive this and the preparation of God and the universe putting their work together. Now it's your time to put in the work to prepare to receive that thing. Just like how you want a new car. Now you got to save up. Now you got to prepare to save up for the car. 
you want a new house, you want a new apartment. Now you gotta save up and have discipline and have your finance together to have your payments on time. Um, you want that body. You you want to be healthier for yourself. Now you have to have discipline on when days come. You don't feel like eating this. Or you don't feel like going to the gym or you don't feel like you know getting up out of the bed, getting yourself in the clothes, going to the gym, walking to the gym, driving to. You don't feel like traveling to go there. That's when the discipline part comes in. That's when the preparation comes in. Whenever you don't feel like doing something you just do it anyway because you know it's preparing you to receive what you've been asking and been desiring what you've been desiring is something that you want exactly so when you want you're gonna try your best and do your best and do whatever you need to do to get it people that get things to prepare themselves every single time to receive it just like how people say i want abundance they prepare themselves to be in becoming abundant actively every day every day every step is closer to receiving what they asked for every day of you working on yourself every day of you working out is making and building another step up to evolving and improving on you and your quality of life. Think of it like that. Definitely gonna make your life and your thought process way better when you think of it that type of way. Work out. I saw this video. This girl said she used to love working out. Now she don't love working out. And now she just goes to the gym. She just goes to the gym. She don't like working out at all no more. And she just goes to the gym. But she goes to the gym because she wants to be healthy. She wants that body that she put herself to. And she wants to be stronger, whatever the case is. Whatever her purpose is. She knows working out gives her a healthy route. She knows working out gives her everything good. She knows working out makes her better. Even when she doesn't want to do it. Do the thing that you know you don't want to do. But you know for sure even after you're done doing it, it did something good to you. Your feeling of not doing something is temporary. It's temporary. It never stays the same. Yeah, it may stay the same in weeks, months, and eventually it's going to change. That switch is going to switch. And it's going to turn on and be like, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm just going to work out. I don't care. You're going to come to that point. You're going to be like, fuck it. You're going to be like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. Because me keep saying I don't want to do it gets me farther away from not having what I've been wanting. The more you think how long you have been thinking about wanting something for yourself, the more icky you get about it because all the times you have been thinking about it, you could have done something to get closer to it instead of wasting time. So working out, instead of saying, I don't want to go or I don't want to go, I don't feel like going, say me going makes me feel better and me going makes me better every single day. Just say it makes me better. Every Every single day every day I go to the gym I'm better I'm better than yesterday I'm better than myself yesterday it's only you versus you and you're not competing with nobody else you're only competing against you and when you're competing against you you are forced to create the ability the strength to learn how you think and how to trick manipulate in a good way your mind to doing what you need to do Because at the end of the day if you are not pleased with your life at the end of the day why is that all you've been thinking about is what you don't have what you could have done you know because you're not doing it that's why you don't have it think because i keep thinking of this and i'm not doing nothing else that's why i don't have it so instead of me just thinking let me do instead and let's see how far it gets me because i bet you doing and having action towards it's going to get you farther from just thinking of it thinking of it creates space thinking of it creates the, the desire of wanting something yes but have a thought in your mind that's going to push you to do it what is that purpose what is that why have a strong why on why you're working out how does working out help you it helps your mental it helps your physical it helps you build strength it helps you change your mindset learn yourself way better it helps you create better structure in your life it makes you find better strategies to get yourself to do the things that you need to do to get what you want Working out is simply making yourself disciplined enough for whatever your reason is. For me, I do it because I feel good. It makes me feel good. I do things that makes me feel good. That's my strong why. It makes me feel good. This is for you. You are a priority. If somebody says, oh my gosh, you take working out so seriously, F them. Because why why aren't you taking it seriously? Like, like come at them like that. Like, why aren't you taking it that seriously? Okay, it may not work. The way that I'm going about it may not work for you, but it's working for me. I ain't changing up nothing because it works for me. Working out is going to work out for everybody. It just depends on how you do it. So find the 
thoughts that help you push yourself into doing the things that you need to do to get closer. Think about something that's every day you think about it, it, it has the same effect as you getting up and going to the gym. It has the same effect of you getting up and drinking that gallon of water. It has you thinking of a better life that you see yourself in and that you know you can't have it. Only if you go towards it. And going towards it is making actions happen, making moves. Not just sitting and thinking. Number four. Go on solo dates or activities at home. Now, the reason is you want to get back on track right now this means getting back on track for whatever the reason is it comes with solitude sometimes you have to get back in tune with yourself the reason you got off track is because you weren't in tune with yourself you you were out of balance if being in tune with yourself so being back in tune with yourself considers you being by yourself and it's just you and you facing you and you facing yourself makes you go into a state where okay you just gotta sit down listen and hear and understand when you do these solitude dates or these solitude activities where you are building a connection you're building a strong relationship with yourself that you know you will be okay with yourself as well as you know being you'll be okay with yourself you can rely on yourself for putting yourself back on track and not external resources yes external resources can be motivation but it may not be strong enough to have you disciplined to letting you be your first priority solo dates makes to become your first priority oh this is a date this is important or this is an activity that i need to do for me because it is important because i am important having that solitude make will make you realize how important you are how not having solitude in some stages of your life and not taking that break from other people and coming back to you to recharge you will pee how it affects you and you will tell if you like it or not that's why you're on this video you don't like how you disconnected with yourself because you disconnected with yourself now you off track like for me my solitude is doing self-care doing my eyebrows like reading doing shadow work journaling that's my solitude that's me having my little solo mini, day mini dates with me because that's me reconnecting with myself reconnecting with yourself so makes you come back home right once you are back in that safe space where it's like okay i'm good now you're able to have that space where you have effective effort into whatever you put in whatever energy you put in is also it's always going to be 100 effective you are always pouring into you into your cup when you don't pour into your cup it will be empty eventually and then you have nothing to give to yourself or others so people are looking you looking at you like what the heck can you do and you looking at yourself like what can i do Cause I can't even do nothing for myself, so I can't even. If somebody asks you, "Can I get some water?" You have an empty cup, and you're like, "Oh yeah, here." What are you pouring in their cup? You have nothing to pour. If you're thirsty, you say, "Can I get some water?" You can give yourself some water, because you know what you need to do to give yourself water. You need to go to the store. Okay, let's go to the store so we can get some water. Oh, you got some in the fridge? Go walk to the fridge to go get some water, whatever the case is. But if you have no water essentially in your home, you can never even give nothing to yourself. And you can't even give that person that's asking for that water. You can't even give it to them because you don't have anything. Neglecting yourself in that way, you need to back, back, take a break and come and recharge back at your safe place. That's where your recharging situation is at in your home. That's why it's very important on how you treat your home. Do you treat it like trash or do you treat it as the space that recharges? you when you go to a place or go to a person that always recharge you you always want to go back to it and you always want to associate with it so you always want to associate it for you to always wanting to associate with yourself is because you are always pouring into yourself you give life into yourself you're not trained you're not black you're not man you're not plain you always have that energy for yourself to keep that spark you can't keep that spark when you don't got it number five Write down how your life is put together, what it looks like, and how and how it feels. Apply it today. Write down on a piece of paper how your put together life looks like and how it feels and how it looks. Then apply it today. Let's say you are gonna write a whole script on what your day to day life is and you're gonna act out as that script as you already are. 
when you're doing that you're sending to the universe you're sending to yourself you're sending to your body and you're making yourself more abundant to aligning with that life that you are becoming to that lifestyle to that quality quality of life you want to receive being very intentional with how you want to be with your life with your lifestyle with the quality of your life how you want to live how do you want to feel look the feeling part is really number one the look part will come with the feeling if you feel shitty you're gonna look shitty if you feel good you're gonna look good if you feel sad you're gonna look sad some type of sign in your face or your body is going to display you are sad no matter how hard you try to hide it sometimes, it will show eventually over time. If you're not thinking a state how your higher self would, what makes you think you're going to be able to conquer or even handle that pressure or that abundance to keep it forever or however long you want it? How are you going to embrace and appreciate and be grateful for something that you don't see as something to be grateful for? How do you keep something that you don't see is something precious? When somebody feels like something is a precious they treat it as trash and they don't keep it for a long time but something that is precious is you it's that vision that you see for yourself that's something precious so you treat it as with care you treating your visions with care is becoming actively intentional with how you plan with your life how you play your life is a make or break if you plan with your life all willy-nilly not caring okay from the universe and from god you're gonna get okay you're gonna get out of life okay all will nilly and playful just playing game if you want to keep interacting with people that keep playing games with you and keep manipulating you or becoming a manip manipulator yourself because that's all you interact with that's what you're gonna get if you step out of that and you look around what you want because you know what you want and you can recognize something that you want by your feelings and by what the way, way things look and how you feel this is something that i aspire to be so that will go for how you live your life what your day looks like on a day-to-day -day. who do you hang around with what does your environment look like how do you talk how do you view things what's your perspective on things on life how to live your life what's morals and principles boundaries when you go into detail on what these things look like you'll be more familiar with them and because the more you're familiar with something the more you're closer to taking what you want when you saw that car you saw what it looked like you saw how it made it feel you saw how you will look with it and you said i want that just like putting yourself in an abundant mindset and putting yourself in an abundant space so you can feel that similarity and stuff like that that's how you do that number six believe that your past makes you stronger not weaker i used to think that oh every time in my past is always just a displayed moment of how oh i was always failing or think of your past as lessons and not failures even if you think of them as failures think of them of lessons that will make you not fail next time these lessons are here for you to learn not for you to break your down break yourself down anymore Breaking yourself down will just make you repeat the steps that you did in your past and make it into your present and then make it into your future. So then now you think you're going into circles and you can't get out of it. But if you think that your past makes you stronger because you have the awareness of, okay, that's something I shouldn't do next time. Now it's making you smarter. Now it's making you more aware. Now it's making you more attentive. You see how things are playing or how things were playing then. And you, if you see something like that now, you now you know to say I'm a back back and I don't want nothing like that ever again because I know how it's going to go. You're protecting yourself and you're being aware being and giving more attention to your surroundings yourself and how things make you feel and while protecting yourself preparing yourself for anything that's similar to those things and preparing yourself to be stronger and smarter and more intelligent when things come around letting yourself indulge into the knowledge that you have learned in your past they were tested then in your past and then they became less in your future so if you get tested again in your future now you will pass this time because you learned from your mistakes number seven
stay in your purpose and be with God with God's hands like I said in my other video in God's hands and it will flourish 100 times better than just you by yourself God is always with you God is always going to protect you he's always going to protect you he's always going to put overflow your cup even though you are filling your cup he's going to give you a, 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 a overflow a waterfall that's what he's going to give you because that's what he does that is what happens when he puts his hands on to things having a purpose is going to make you have a stronger connection with him and when you have a stronger connection with him you have more strength yes you can be strong on your own but once you connect with him in the holy spirit you got that armor on you and nobody really can touch you as well as when you know what your purpose is you know what your assignment is you because you know what you're meant for you know that you are capable of this so anything that even comes your way to bend that and tries to make it seem like you're not capable of it because it was a little breakdown moment no you know that's not right and you know that you are capable you are just stronger than what these people or what these situations come up to be and try to make you think that you're not capable of doing these things because they're trying to make you fall when in reality you really can get up after even if you fall having that purpose is going to give you that feel to want to continue living your life in a better state in a better condition and i hope you guys like today's video i know when i be talking i be getting a little serious uh, this was a good video like comment and subscribe to your mama your cousin your doggy your fancy your bitch your piggy your auntie about me and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye